Hello everyone, Josh here, and I'm gonna show you how you can use the arms feature to perform a contour cut with your Laser Point 3 vinyl cutter. The very first thing we want to do is make sure that the laser has been calibrated, and first I wanna show you that you can always find these instructions on the uscutter.com website on our support page. The support page has all types of information that can be very, very helpful for all types of cutters and software, so if you ever get stuck, please look to that. As you can see, we have the user manual as well as the calibration guide right here. The very first step in calibrating your laser point three is to insert the pen tool and a sheet of paper. You're not going to have a black pen tool like mine because I ran the original through a washing machine last night. I'm also gonna be using the eight and a half by 11 inch sheets of paper. Uh, and I like to load those in the middle of the machine so that the carriage has plenty of room to move to the left and the right. Step two has us turning the machine on while holding the right arrow key down on the keypad. If you're doing it right, the welcome message will stay on the screen until you release the right arrow key. When you do it, you've just completed the next step because it'll say move to blank. As soon as the screen says move to blank, you want to use the arrows on the keypad to move the pen to the center of the screen and press the origin button. Next, you will press the enter key on your machine and it should draw an L-shaped design and scan it with the laser tool. The screen should display success if it's done properly, but if you haven't used your pen tool in a while, it may take a few tries for the ink to leave a dark enough mark for it to register. Now that we have everything calibrated, let's get over to Vinyl Master and prep our design for contour cutting. I've got some badly designed bumper stickers that I'm going to print out and apply to a t-shirt using our Parapy Dark Inkjet Classic for desktop inkjet printers, and then our Parapy CL Dark Premium Laser Transfer Papers for desktop laser printers. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we have everything we want to perform a contour cut around selected uh, before we go and click the apple shaped contour cutting button above. It's going to give you two options. The first one we want to select is the create a contour cut. Once you're inside the create a contour cut window, you will be presented with quite a few options. Because this is a basic design, I don't really have to change much other than the location of the outline. As you can tell, I designed it to bleed all the way to the edge a little bit uh, so that I'll have color all the way to the edge of my sticker. Uh, so I brought the outline in a little while, a little bit. Once we're happy with that, we'll click accept and then go back to the Apple contour cutting icon at the top and select our contour cutting wizard. This will give us all types of new options, but since we're printing directly from the Vinyl Master to our desktop printer, we can just select print direct as our printing device and it'll work just fine. You'll also want to make sure that you move your image to the center of the sheet. Since I'm using eight and a half by 11 inch sheets, uh, I don't want the pinch rollers to lose their grip if they're trying to move the contour cut too far away. And then as soon as you're ready, hit cut, and then this next little screen will appear. Uh, I had to pull it over from the side, but what it's going to do is show you where to line up your laser with the registration marks. Uh, and then once you do that, you're going to hit this next button, and it's going to start the laser. Now occasionally, you won't seem to line it up perfect every time, and you will run some instances where you see the laser traveling around like this because it couldn't hit the mark the first time. A screen will pop up and say recut, all you're going to do is press OK and then set the origin point and then start over. Now that we have this basic cut completed, let's apply contour cut lines to this image that I have here. We're basically going to be following the exact same steps as before, except this time I'm going to deselect the keep holes box inside the contour cut creator so that it doesn't keep small holes inside the inner parts of the design as shown here. And then exactly as we did before, we're just going to print it because we have it set to print direct, direct to our printer. And then we will just go ahead and select cut. And then right after that, it's going to bring up our laser positioning page. And we start as soon as we found a good origin point. And then as soon as we're done cutting, we can go ahead and start the weeding process. And as you can see right here, everything comes up just fine with ease. Now, some of you may be wondering why one of these prints looks a little bit more faded than the other. Well, the faded ones are from my old, old inkjet printer that I use cheap ink that I get off of Amazon. I wouldn't recommend using that for any transferring. If you have any questions about this or any of our products, you can reach us in a couple of different ways. We've got this phone number that you see scrolling across the screen right now, 425-481-3555. We have that Monday through Friday, uh, 7 a.m. 
through 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also reach us at sales at US Cutter for any sales questions or if you have any technical or customer support issues, you can reach us at support at uscutter.com. Have a wonderful day and thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this.